Hi everyone, Mike Alexander here and thank you for joining. Now, nine out of 10 of the people who send me their swings online on Instagram all slice the golf ball. And that's because essentially they come over the top, it's the open club face, the ball starts left, heads off to the right, and it's very inconsistent. You get terrible direction and you get terrible control of your shot and you get terrible distance. But what I'm gonna share with you today is the common traits that I see in every single slicer and how these traits actually cause the slice so that you can begin to start looking at your own swing and figuring out why you're slicing it and what you've gotta to do to fix it. So these common traits are very, very key to getting rid of that slice. It's what I see a lot of people doing. So make sure you watch all of these traits, understand them, and then you can start to apply them to your own swing today to start getting rid of that slice. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'll be releasing videos like this every single week. And I always leave a link to my free drills locker on my website. That's in the description. So go ahead, check that out. And you can have many of the drills that I use to help people fix their golf swings. So let's get in it. Okay, so one of the most common things you will see in most slicers is the weak grip. So we're gonna see the club being held in the palm of the hand like this. And that just makes it very hard to do many things. First of all, the hands rotate it out like that, so it wants to rotate this way. That's gonna open the club face. It's also not in a position where you can set the wrist properly. And if you can't set the wrist properly, you're gonna to have to use your arms to create speed. So the arms will lift and they'll come over. And if we combine that with the palmy grip and the open club face, then we get the slice. So the grip is number one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're holding it in the fingers. So you can see there it runs diagonally down my fingers towards the tip of my index finger and from the base of the pinky finger on the glove hand and then wrap over in there then you can see pretty much all of your knuckles on your left hand it's a strong position and it's really going to help us square up that club face and also help us use the wrists properly then with the right hand we're just going to bring it on and have this padded area of the thumb to sit right here on top of the glove hand thumb and sort of the start of the index finger where the knuckle is there. That's where that's gonna sit and the V shape that you're gonna create is gonna point pretty much straight up to your face or slightly towards your left ear. So this is a nice opposite forces grip that's gonna help us control that club face. Okay, so I've got opposite forces coming from each side of the grip. So it's very hard to rotate that open and closed. Now then I've just gotta make sure I set up correctly and do certain things in the swing to help me hit that ball straighter. So then with setup, what we can see a lot of the time is people set up again with the ball too far forward in the stance. And if we do that, then that's gonna lead us to bring our arms forward like this. And you can see from this angle that that points the shoulders left. And if the shoulders point left, it's likely that my arms are gonna swing along that line that the shoulders are pointing on. So we don't want them open and pointing left. What we wanna do is our setup drill. So start with our feet together. Then we're gonna take a small step with the lead foot and a bigger step with the trail foot. That gets the ball slightly inside. And I just need to try and keep my hands back in this position and then also make sure that the shoulders are square and parallel to the line that the club's aiming, the ball to target line. So if you imagine a straight line from the ball to the target, which is where the club's aiming, my shoulders, my hips and feet all need to be parallel to that line. So now we're in setup. So that's pretty much the fundamentals. So those are the two main fundamental traits we see with the slice. So you've got to check that and make sure you're not doing that. Then things we'll see in the, in the backswing, first of all, the takeaway, a lot of people take the club in like this, okay? If the club gets too far behind, you've gotta do something with your arms to get the club up, because if I continue swinging around, I can only really get to there. So what I'm gonna do then, most people will lift up, lose the connection here, maybe start over swinging, this arm will start to bend, we'll lose a lot of width, so we've got no power in this position, and what's gonna happen is you're just gonna fire the arms over the top swing across it, open face, slice, okay? So what we have to make sure in takeaway is that we're trying to almost just brush it along the ground and you can see that I'm not using my hands, my hands aren't hinging at this point to take that club back. What I'm using is my shoulders and my lats, almost like just a putting stroke. Putting stroke to there, so the hand gets to just on the right leg and that's the takeaway, pretty much essentially complete. You just need to take it back to there, but it's gonna feel wide, okay? It's gonna feel like you're really reaching out here. Then from there, the next trait is the backswing, top of backswing position, but really essentially the rotation of the body. So what, again, a lot of people do is they won't rotate the body even if they get here, and the body will just react to the arms. They'll lift with the arms and get up in this position, lose the posture, and the body hasn't rotated to create that coil. What we need to do is we need to make sure we rotate. Okay, this body's gotta get right over, back facing the target, so we can keep the club out in front like this, okay? 
then from there we're going to be able to transition properly and get that club slotted in nicely because if I don't rotate properly in the backswing and I try and transition it is going to come over the top because I need to create a stretch between my upper body and where my hips are at you can see that so there's the turn with the upper body there's the turn with the hips there's a big difference I've created a stretch so that I can then continue to start with the legs get on the inside swing up on it and come through so that trait is turning correctly to the top of the backswing, a fully rotated backswing, that's what we need. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to have the arms up here, but we need to try and get back to face the target. Arms can be here, that's fine. If you've got the flexibility to get them up there and extend further, then do it. So, now that's great. So we've got grip, we've got the takeaway feel, and we've got that rotated feel at the top of the backswing. It's still possible to slice it from there. You can still get the transition wrong and swing over the top. So what we need to see in that position is starting the downswing with the legs, with the lower body, creating a further separation of the hips, getting them to go back towards the ball while trying to keep your upper body back here. It's a transition separation. Upper body stays back, creates that stretch, and then from there, everything snaps. But what you'll see it does is it gets me in a great position at the top I create that separation, the weight starts moving forward onto the left foot, and that just brings the club down in shallow nicely. From here then, everything's gonna unwind, the arms are gonna be released, the hands, the wrists, everything's gonna be released, the club head then, at the last second, turned over, nice draw. So, let's recap that. First of all, it's grip, opposite force is grip. Second thing is setup, ball just inside the left heel. Third thing, takeaway, on plane. Fourth thing, rotating to a really good position with the upper body, creating that stretch. Fifth thing, making sure we start with the lower body and from there, everything will release nicely. You're gonna start to hit the ball so much better from that position. If you can get here and start to separate, you're gonna see a huge change in how you strike that golf ball. The spin's gonna be so much better, the launch is gonna be better, the direction's gonna be better. You're just gonna have to play around with it to feel how much you need to feel your hands release because at the end of the day, we still have to release those hands and that's a hard feel to get because this is a small part of your body, a small part of your swing that can still get manipulated quite a little bit too much. But with that grip and stabilizing that club face, it makes it a little easier for us to hit the ball straight. All right, so I'm sure you've been waiting for me to hit one, so let's give this a go. Let's put it all together. Grip, set up. You feel that turn, separation, and through to a nice finish. Oh, that was one of my better ones today. This week, maybe. Oof, right at the back of the range. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. This will give you some great insights on how to fix your slice. These are some of the pretty much the common things I see in almost every slicer that sends me a swing. Feel free to send me a swing on Instagram if you want me to take a look at it. And again, make sure to head over to the drills locker. Link is in the description and you can get access to a load of free drills that are going to help you fix your swing this coming off season as well. So please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.